Hey, good morning, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to put together the new window pane lantern. This is a lantern that you will see in every one of my staging photos, and I have been asked numerous times uh, if I sell the file. Um, I didn't because the top was very difficult to do. Um, so now I think I've simplified it a little bit. So I just want to um, put it out there, see what you guys think. Um, and this video is going to show you how to put together. So um, you will get all of these pieces in it. It does take three sheets of regular Glowforge sized plywood. Um, if you have a larger laser, you can put it all on one sheet. Um, you will get two bottoms. These are two tops, and I'll show you what I did in a second. And then the the pieces that make the actual um, the the peak top, and then obviously the sides. These are the sides. So the first thing I did with the tops, um, there are score lines that you will find uh, in the file to glue these um, these pieces too. So this is gonna be the inside top piece and this is the top top piece. I don't know how, how better to explain it. Um, and again, there's score lines so you know exactly where to glue these boxes. Um, I did that ahead of time just because for time's sake. Uh, basically, these pieces are just acting as support. And again, I did score the lines so you know where to glue them. They are the support for the way your roof of this is gonna go in. So first time I did this, I had a heck of a time trying to get these pieces to stay. So I made support beams, so it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to, to do. So basically that's, the, that's why these are here. Again, they are scored, they're score lines, so you know where placement of them will go. They are, I don't know if you can see this because they're black, but they are the smaller pieces of, of the roof line. So you will definitely know, and there's only three of them, so you'll know which piece goes where. So basically, let's start with, we'll put the, the roof line together, and basically just glue these two together. So you'll have, the supports on one side and the plain, um, this is gonna be like, a, because the top's gonna be able to come off. So this is so the top doesn't move. So we'll just go ahead and glue these together. And then while well, that's drying really quick, put that over there, we'll do the same thing to the bottom. So there's two pieces to the bottom. You don't have to do two pieces. I just like the height of it. Um, I like to have a little bit of a chunkier bottom. So basically I glue these two together. And now we'll start to assemble the top. So you will take your long pieces and like I showed you, they go on the top roof. I put a bead of glue over here. And I also put a bead of glue on the bottom um, because these are obviously not angled cut it's gonna be, um, the glue is not going to uh, be exact on there because, on the bottom, because uh, obviously it's, it's um, not angled. So it's important to get it on the support so your, um, so it has something to grab to. So it's actually adhering to something. And you'll notice that this doesn't go all the way to the end. So I just um, center it the best that I can. 
press down, make sure we're adhering to our supports. And then for these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the very end because again, um, it's not flat. We've got angled pieces, so they're not always going to um, sit flush. So we just need a little bit of glue to be able to get that to stick at some point. And when you put too much on, you know you can, you know it's going to stick somewhere, right? And the same thing on this side, a little bit of glue on the edges, and then a lot of glue on there, just so it has something to stick. Okay, then we will put on the top. So this is like the finial, um, put a little bit of glue on here. Put it in here. And then this piece gets glued on here. Again, it's not gonna go all the way down. Um, I don't know if you guys can be able to see that. It's gonna stick up a little bit and that's just purely because there are no straight angle, there, there are no straight um, pieces of wood here. They're all angled. So I just make sure that I kind of cover that really well. So when this sits in, it actually is touching some, some glue. Um, and we let that dry, okay? So now you can see that that top, when it sits, when it sits on the top, it's not gonna shake off. Uh, now for the easy part. Um, the panels, um, I just put some glue in these little grooves. The front and the back are the only thing that are gonna have panels or that have uh, that need to fit into the slots. So we just go ahead and put those in. And we make sure those are down nice and tight. And then the last pieces, the shorter end, you can see the thickness in here versus the thickness over here. The shorter end goes on the bottom. And obviously you will see this because it won't fit in any other way. So I will go ahead and add glue to my slats or my tabs. Add glue to the bottom. And then we'll, did I really do that? I didn't do that. Sorry, put glue on the wrong side. Short, short, the smallest part. And we just fit that in there. Takes a little just to get everything lined up. There we go. And just hold that for a second until it dries. And then we'll turn around and do the same thing on the other side. And 
just another little bit of glue on the end. Because you want it to be able to glue to the base as well. It just gives it a little bit extra support. And just hold it for a second. It's large, so it's a little hard to work with and trying to hold everything down and in place. So if you have, um, uh, you know, um, clamps or something like that, that could be a good use right here to make sure everything stays tight. I'm not gonna worry about this glue because I'm gonna spray it with a poly when I'm done. Um, so that is, wow. So that's the way it goes together. Now, the only thing you need to do is you put your top on and again, there's that The, um, I don't know what you call them, <laughs> the little ridge underneath the top so it fits right in and it won't, it won't move out. So hope you can see that. Sorry, this video is awful, but there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.